So the Xbox Game Showcase finally happened on July 23rd and as Microsoft had earlier said that it will be entirely about the games and that we should not expect any new details about the new console. So yeah, they revealed lots of new games and also some updates on old games. In this video, I'm gonna go through all the announcements that happened at the event. Hi, my name is Decker, welcome to Gamer Connect and here's everything that happened at the Xbox Game Showcase 2020. Now before I talk anything about the event or even the games, let me talk a little bit about the Xbox Game Pass. I thought I should mention this because Xbox is doing a really great job with its Game Pass. So with the Xbox Game Pass, you can play any upcoming games on the Microsoft Store on the very first day of its launch and by paying as low as Rs 50 for the first month of its subscription. I mean that is a really cheap price to pay to get access to any new game on its launch day. Think about it like this, if multiple games launch on the same day, you still pay the same price to get access to all of them. This is something Xbox should be really commended for. Now moving on to the main event, the entire show was divided into two parts, the pre-show and the main show. In the pre-show, we got some updates on some old games and also some new reveals. I'm gonna start with Dragon Quest XI which now will be available on the Xbox and will also be available using the Xbox Game Pass. So this is the first Dragon Quest game to ever release for an Xbox platform. It pretty much remains the same without any special changes and it will also include the retro mode that changes the game into a retro styled RPG. This game will be launching on the Xbox this year on December 4th. Next we got a new game from Twisted Red and it is called Exo Mecha. It is a first person shooter with a combination of vehicular combat and battle with giant mechs with huge weapons. It kind of looked like Titanfall but it didn't really excite me that much. This game will be coming out in 2021 and is going to be free to play. We also got some new footage of Watch Dogs Legion. We got to see a little bit of gameplay, details about the permanent death mechanic of the game and they also gave us a hint about the story with some little details about the factions and how the overall story progresses. As we already know Watch Dogs Legion is coming out on 29th October 2020 so we are going to be able to play this game very soon. Next we have another new game from a smaller studio called Coco Cucumber and the game is called Echo Generation. The art style of this game looked absolutely amazing and what we saw from the video is there was combat based on cards. It is definitely an adventure game where you solve puzzles to progress into the story. I really like the look of the game and would want to know more about it. This game is also coming out in 2021 but there's no fixed release date yet. Yuji Naka, the famous co-creator of Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, appeared during the end of the pre-show to unveil his new game which is a collaboration with Square Enix and this game is called Balan Wonderworld. It is an action game where you make use of several different abilities and a unique thing about this game is the actions and abilities of the character changes depending on the costume it is wearing. This game will be coming out in spring 2021 and will be available both on Xbox One and the upcoming Xbox Series X. So the last game that was revealed in the pre-show is Hello Neighbor 2 with a look at the gameplay which featured a bird-like character. Like the first Hello Neighbor game, this one is also a stealth horror game. I have played a little bit of Hello Neighbor and it was a really interesting game. Hello Neighbor 2 continues from the first game with a more advanced AI and more areas to explore in the game. This game is also coming out sometime in 2021. The main show of the Xbox Game Showcase started with a showcase of the gameplay demo of Halo Infinite. We all knew that was going to happen since it was already previously announced. The gameplay of Halo Infinite looked amazing. We got to see lots of new weapons, a little peek into the story and the new grappling hook that is introduced in the game. All of it looked very interesting and I'm absolutely excited about this game. Halo Infinite is coming out on the holiday of 2020 and we're probably going to know the exact release date very soon. The first new game that was revealed in the main show was State of Decay 3. Now I personally don't know much about State of Decay since I have not quite followed this franchise but the trailer of the latest game was very intriguing. As you might know State of Decay is an open world zombie survival series and in the trailer we saw a survivor scouting through the forest where she found an undead deer. That's pretty much all the information we got about this game. Now moving on to the next game which is Forza Motorsport. There's nothing much to talk about Forza as everyone already knows it's a racing game and the graphics of the game is very realistic and that's pretty much all about it. So the new Forza game will be using Xbox Series X's technology to make it look more realistic. Now the next game I'm going to talk about is a very beautiful game and this game is Evervoid. So we don't have much information about this game but all I can say is the game looks very unique and the colors and sceneries look amazing. In the video we saw lots of enormous creatures which appeared to be friendly with the humans and then there were some creatures at the verge of death and the humans worked to revive them. I'm really interested in this game, I wish we got to see more details about this game. The next game went something like this. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. 
Tell Me Why is the game and it is developed by Don't Nod Entertainment who are the developers of Life is Strange and this game also kind of gave a Life is Strange vibe. It is about a brother and her sister who get visions from their past when they get emotional. The story of the game focuses on the relationship between them and this game is coming out next month which will be on the 27th of August. If you have played any one of the OD games, you must have already fallen in love with its visuals and music. But they are bringing a new update where you will be able to play the game on 120fps and they also made some enhancement in the music. Overall, this is going to be an amazing experience for anybody who plays the game. Obsidian's popular RPG The Outer Worlds is getting a new DLC which is called Peril of Gorgon and it will be coming out this year on September 9th. Obsidian also has a new game that is coming out next week. It was already previously revealed and the game is called Grounded. It is basically if the movie Honey I Shrunk the Kids was a game. Grounded is coming out on July 28th. It is a simulation game where you are shrunk to a size smaller than insects and now you have to survive the bugs that can literally eat you alive. Another new game from Obsidian was revealed and it is called Avowed. They said it is a large scale RPG and is being made on the ground of using the new technology of the Xbox Series X. I am a big RPG fan and this game kind of looks similar to Elder Scrolls Skyrim or Oblivion and we also saw the character make use of some magical abilities in combat. I think this is going to turn out to be a very good game and I am already very much interested in this game. Interior Night Studios which is an indie studio came up with a game called As Dusk Falls. It features a story of a family from some southwest American region and they describe the game as an interactive drama. This could be a great game for someone who enjoys a good story rather than the gameplay and any other stuff in a game. Psychonauts got a new game and it featured Jack Black singing a song in the background as they showed off some gameplay of Psychonauts 2. It looks very colorful and hallucinating at the same time, although we didn't get any other details about the launch date of the game. The long-awaited sequel to Stalker was also shown and it will be launching exclusively in the Xbox Series X. All we got is a small teaser of the game and Microsoft didn't reveal the launch date or any other additional details about Stalker 2. A new Warhammer title was showcased which is Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide. In the trailer we got a glimpse at the first person gameplay and we can expect more details about the game very soon, all we know for now that it will be coming out next year. The creators of SteamWorld came up with a new game which is called The Gunk and it was announced to be a console launch exclusive. The game is set on a fully 3D environment which appears like a wasteland with many dangers ahead of it. Another console launch exclusive was a game from Sega which is Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. This game is coming out next year and it will feature a new world and new characters along with some action packed combat. Next we have another first person shooter game and this time it is from Remedy Entertainment. This game is Crossfire X. It is going to be a free to play title and is scheduled to release sometime this year. The trailer showed off some glimpse of gameplay from the campaign but there were not enough details to properly understand the game. The last game that was revealed at the very end of the event was Fable. There were lots of rumors about Fable to return and everyone has been really anticipating about this game. In the video we saw a fairy which resembled Tinkerbell flying around the magical world but was soon eaten by a big frog. I'm very excited about this game and I want to get hands on it as soon as it launches. So these were all the games that were revealed at the Xbox Game Showcase 2020. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite game reveal and which are the games you are definitely playing on the launch day. For more videos like this follow GameConnect.in on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram and if you want to catch up with me follow me on Instagram at Decker was taken. And that was it for the video see you again next time.